Jim Barcelona with Miami Herald. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm just curious. Talk a little bit about getting ready for this fight, uh, working with who you've been working with down an American top team and who's with you for this fight as well. Who did you end up bringing with you? Uh, I brought Mike Brown, uh, Tiago Alves, and one of my boxing coaches, Ivan. That's who's with me. Uh, I've been training with um, Dustin came down for a couple of days. Uh, Jorge, Johnny, same. I mean, training partners haven't changed. Roman Ferraldo came in um, the final week to help me prep, which I greatly appreciate. But yeah, it's pretty much the same partners. It's such a great contingent to have the resources available like that for you. What, what has it been like for American Top Team being there? And thank you for the time. That's my last question. Of course, um, being on American Top Team is the greatest thing that probably has ever happened in my life. Uh, I joined them at a young age and they've molded me to who I am today. Um, so without my coaches and my training partners and Dan Lambert and just everyone over there, I just thank them so much for everything and the opportunity they have given me. Santiago, go ahead. Hi Saba, greetings from Amsterdam and thank you for the time. How are you doing and how are you experiencing your fourth fight week in a row at the Mohegan Sun Arena? Does it already feel like home? Definitely feels like home. I'm comfortable here, uh, but I'm ready to travel and go other places. So but we'll see what's uh, in store for the future. If they're going to be coming back here or traveling, we'll see. What do you make of your opponent? He has been around in Bellator for a while now, and he always delivers a good fight. Do you expect an action-packed scrap on Friday night? Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm expecting the best Andre Korshkov. He's a former champion. I know I have a tough fight ahead of me, but I'm well prepared and I'm ready to go. And I believe I'm going to get my hand raised on this one. One last question, if I may, Saba. Roman Feraldo, I heard you talk about him. He had to pull out of his fight. Um, like a day before, how is he doing? Is he coming back? Can you share a little bit about your teammate? Yeah, he's, um, you know, he's doing good. He's in good spirits. His daughter uh, is stabilized. They um, got her under control and whatnot. I'm just happy that she pulled out of what she was going through and, and you know, she's healthy now. So um, just nothing but prayers go out to him and his family. So I just wish him nothing but the best. Tony, go ahead. Um, I was just saying in, in your last fight, Paul Daly going into the fight there was a lot of animosity between the pair of you and in comparison to this fight coming up how much easier is it still with a fight where you've not perhaps got that pent-up aggression towards your opponent and do you feel that that played a factor in the last fight uh, I wouldn't say there was pent-up aggression um in my last fight it is what it is I know what he tries doing he tries getting it in the fighters heads but you're not going to get that out of me you know I'm, I'm a fighter I come to fight and I don't fight with anger I try to keep my cool and you know fight with strategy, not with anger. You fight with anger, that's gonna cost you the fight. You know, that's what I believe. But going into this fight, I feel great. You know, there is no, I feel like I don't really have pressure on me. I mean, I put the pressure on myself, really. But um, former champion, I'm expecting a tough fight and I'm just ready to go out there and do the damn thing, so I'm excited. And you're, you're sitting at number 10 in, in the rankings. Um, do, do you pay much attention to the rankings? Is it I've seen that, that I bumped down two spots. Um, I don't even know how Paul Daly's in the rankings. He can't even make 170, so how is that even possible? You know, if he, and if he wants to be in the rankings, if he wants to climb that ladder and get a title shot, he needs to make championship weight. And if he can't even make 170, can't even make 171. So how is he going to make 170? He shouldn't be in the rankings. I'm not really worried about it. I don't give two fucks about the rankings. I'm just looking forward to this fight on Friday night to go in there performing and walking out with the W. Michael, go ahead. Hey, man, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to ask regarding the mental health uh, of a fighter in the pandemic itself. You know, uh, the fighters have suffered effects due to the pandemic and, you know, the fighting style. Uh, how much the pandemic affected your game style uh, until now? Goose egg. That's my response to that. Didn't affect it at all, man. Florida's an open state. Maybe other people got affected by it, but we didn't. 